father is, still is, yeah. So he is more of a didactic kind. He's more of a freewheeling spirit. He is a writer. He has a large body of work in Urdu, which has been translated to Hindi. His name is Juginder Paul. And uh, so that was a major influence on me. Um, but he sort of takes himself too seriously, <laughs> my father. My mother brought uh, the practicality and, and uh, the, 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 the way to sort of think about how to manage in life. So I, I, I really owe a lot to them. I'm, I am what I am because of them. Do you have a strong competitive streak in you? Competitive streak is long gone. Uh, uh, but the, so I, when I was a kid, yes, compet competition, got to do it first, got to do it right, got to be the best. Now it's more just getting the job done. Sometimes being non-competitive uh, actually helps you get uh, to, the, to the objective faster, faster. And uh, uh, it's sort of going away with time. Will a time ever come in our lifetimes? when we can stand up and announce to the whole world, our planet is free of any kind of disease? Well, smallpox is gone already. Polio, um, it can Mainly be, gone. Yeah, it's mainly gone. And, and I think uh, the technology that we have developed, the vaccine against HIV that we were discussing earlier, this really has potential to eradicate. Now, as a scientist, I have to add a caveat, I have to add a caution always. It is never done until it's actually done. So in other words, we have to do tests. But w our technology certainly deserves the next stage of ten testing, and it does have the potential to eradicate HIV from the face of the world. Dr. Sudhir Paul, some people sometimes say that politics starts interfering in science. We've read about people wanting to go and immunize kids against polio. And some political movement said, look, they are sterilizing our kids and doing all kinds of funny things with them. How do you respond to this? I think education um, must accompany uh, medical practice. That it's inevitable. We have to educate people as we go along. Having said that, when I was a child, I remember I used to read books like The Age of Reason, that we thought when I'm 62 years old, as I am now, that things would be completely reasonable. Well, that dream is still not there. We don't have <laughs> the age of reason. But it is more rational now than it was many years ago. And I think combined, so if something works without toxicity as a medical scientist, it has to be, I have to say, if the drug is, or the vaccine is efficacious, does its job, and it's not toxic, eventually it will be accepted despite politics. It may, politics will slow down things, and it, there really is big danger that in the countries that can recognize something that is worthwhile and worth pursuing, who, that have a vision, a political vision, if you will, a social vision, they are the ones that champion new things. Uh, so politics is inevitable in all spheres of human life. We just have to deal with it. You left India over 30 years ago and you have been coming back. From the time that you were studying here, today. Do you see a change in the approach and attitude to immunology, virology and medicine? I do, I do. And, and really in all spheres of life, India has made enormous pro progress. Uh, uh, you had mentioned earlier that uh, HIV was supposed to be a death sentence. Well, many Indians still don't get the antiretroviral therapy, but India has made remarkable progress. The rate of increase uh, has been stopped. It is no longer increasing the HIV infections. Immunologists and scientists certainly uh, are thinking in a more ambitious way. I, I do find that I'm giving a seminar at AIMS and one with the National Brain Research Center and certainly I find them completely receptive to, to new ideas and we, we talk about how to think about society and science. There's a whole lot of ferment going on in India and I think good things will happen. Dr. Sudhir Paul, is it possible to hope in our lifetimes for a universal panacea, um, a medicine that attacks and deals with all diseases, all known or unknown diseases? In principle, yes. Uh, I had mentioned earlier that sure. the immune system 
it has to remove our own self, not only these viruses that are bad for us, but as we grow older, our, our proteins, they get oxidized and they become chemically different. They are structurally different. Now, these are toxic chemicals. We say that uh, old, a old age is not simply a concept. It is a reality. It's, you said cure old, old age or maybe someone else mentioned it. The, the word cure, it really does apply to old age. That We are in evolution. Again, either God or Darwin has designed that we live uh, average of 70, 60, 80 years and then we die. Uh, that need not be the case. That, that could be prolonged. Um, a universal panacea Probably not. A single thing, probably not. It's hard work. We'd have to figure out what is causing toxicity in old age. And many things cause toxicity. And each one of them would have to be removed uh, in order to slow down the process. A little while ago, we made a reference to this new disease which uh, everybody is talking about, which has broken out in West Africa called Ebola. So when we come back, we are going to ask you how you, as an immunologist, uh, see this issue and how you would suggest dealing with it. Our Vishesh Mehman today, who we are talking about, is a leading immunologist, Bharat Ki Supoot. At this time, they are working in the United States of America. Your name is Dr. Sudhir Paul, an outstanding son of our country. Stay with us, because if you want to know about Ebola, when we come back, we are going to ask him a few tough questions. You are watching our Rashtriya Network. You are watching our Rashtriya Network. पहली तंखा मिली है माँ, let's celebrate। कपड़े तो देखो, लगता है पहली बार आए हैं। पहली बार, पर आखरी नहीं। नया शक्तिशाली रिन, जो लौटाए कपड़ों में नई जैसी सफेदी, नया रिन, चमकते रहना। क्या आप जानते हैं इनके ग्लो का सीक्रेट? क्या ये ग्लो लव है या फिर डव? हमें तो किसी ने बताया कि ये डव ही है। इसमें है एक चौथाई मॉइस्चराइजिंग क्रीम, सात दिन तक आजमाइए और पाइए ज़्यादा कोमल ग्लोइंग त्वचा। ये लव नहीं, डव है। ज़्यादा कोमल ग्लोइंग त्वचा का सीक्रेट यकीनन डव ही है। मम्मी चाहे बंदे बाल, मैं चाहूँ खुले बाल। तो टॉस करें। हेड्स हो या टेल्स, अब पाओ खुले बालों का जादू। सिर्फ एक रुपए में। क्लिनिक प्लस के नए साशे के हर इस्तेमाल से बाल बने मजबूत, ताकि आप रख सकें बालों को खुला हमेशा। शादी सीजन, यानी मेहंदी, संगीत, फेरे, रिसेप्शन, विदाई, पांच फंक्शंस की तैयारी। अब रेडी, सिर्फ पांच � Fair and Lovely का special mini pack जो दे सिर्फ पांच रुपए में हमारा best ever निखार। अब पांच रुपए में rose ready। लोगों की सेवा करना Delhi flight। आप लेट हैं। तुम जानते हो हम कौन हैं? जल्दी करो। यात्री कृपया ध्यान दें। ये महाशय नहीं जानते कि ये कौन हैं। अगर आप इनकी ये जानने में मदद कर सकते हैं, तो बड़ी मेहरबानी होगी। Brookbond Taza ऐसी ताजगी भरी च Doodarshan has always been holding up a mirror to the true emotions of India. We have been part of your joys and your celebrations. And for every parent, there is no greater joy than the birth of their child. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Every birthday that follows is celebrated with abundant joy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Come, share your joy with us. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. We will celebrate your child's birthday in our program, Art Savere, being telecast Monday to Saturday at 7.30 a.m. on DD National. If your child is between the ages of 1 to 7 years, Please send your child's photograph and date of birth to Additional Director General, Dudashan Kendra, Delhi, room number 821, Dudashan Bhavan, Tower B, Mundi House, New Delhi, 110001 or email at artsavere at ddkdelhi.org.in. Style 
ये हमारी मिसेस की गिफ्ट है शाम तक इस पे खूब माइल दिखेगा शाम को देखेंगे अब इस गहरे मेल का क्या करोगे अरे हमारी बीबी स्टार है उनकी धुलाई दमदार है इतने गहरे मेल के लिए नया दमदार भी ये दे इतनी गहरी सफाई इतनी गहरी सफाई माइंड धोइंग माइंड धोइंग अब आपकी त्वचा भी भूल जाए अपनी उम्र बेज में है ग्लिसरीन जिससे आपकी त्वचा रहे यंग दिखो यंग रहो यंग बेज क्या आप अपना डव शैम्पू लौटाएंगे नो चांस डव लौटाना मतलब हेयर फॉल का लौटाना हेयर फॉल मतलब है डैमेज डव दे 50 परसेंट ज्यादा पोषण डैमेज बालों को रिपेयर करे और हेयर फॉल कम करे अपना डव लौटाओ <laughs> कब भी नहीं अब हेयर फॉल की परेशानियों ऐसी आजादी डव शैम्पू के साथ एक्टिव जिंक माउथ वॉश और माइक्रोशाइन क्रिस्टल युक्त क्लोज अप डीप एक्शन दे बारह घंटों तक ताजा सांसे दास की जो पास ले आए इतना बड़ा होटल पहली तंखा मिली है माँ लेट सेलिब्रेट कपड़े तो देखो लगता है पहली बार आए पहली बार है पर आखिरी नहीं नया शक्तिशाली रिन जो लौटाए कपड़ों में नई जैसी सफेदी नया रिन चमकते रहना You are watching Doordarshan, and our special guest today is Dr. Sudhir Paul, a distinguished Indian, presently doing research in immunology in the United States of America at the University of Texas. Dr. Paul, you are professor and director of Chemical Immunology Research Center in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the University of Texas. When you heard this word Ebola, it's been around for a few decades. But when you read about it, when you watch on television, how many people are dying and everybody is asking for money to fund research, etc., etc., etc. How do you respond as an immunologist? Do you get angry? Yeah, and again, it's related to the Ebola is, I think, can be dealt with uh, without too much difficulty. It's been around now for, uh, for a long time. And yet we don't have a vaccine or, or a good therapy for it. Um, it's simply, again, because of the societal issues that the research, the leaders of research are in the United States and in uh, the developed world. They have had classically the money to, to spend to new, for new diseases, whereas the disease strikes somewhere else. I think it is the emerging countries that have to really uh, focus on preventions for these um, for these new viruses. Ebola is, is not such a difficult disease. People recover, as we know from Ebola. Natural immunity uh, is possible. We just need to increase it. There's just not been too much work on it. Uh, the, the same thing is true for HIV. A preventive vaccine, there is not too much of interest in a, in a preventive vaccine. It was just a hint of uh, efficacy so success is statistically significant a few percent but that would never work for for uh, controlling HIV and people don't know what to do there is a whole lot of again um, people are just very classical thinking and this has been a problem that paradigm shifts especially when affiliated with a big challenge they're difficult to bring into into play um, and uh, we, in fact, we have published this is fully documented, so I think it's reasonable to say this. Uh, our approach is the only documented approach uh, that can uh, control uh, viruses around the world. So Ebola also is changeable. Likewise, HIV is super changeable. It mutates constantly. No one has found a way to target a constant part of the HIV. That's the trick. We are able to figure out, we have an algorithm to figure out what are the vulnerable Achilles heel, if you will, part of viruses and how then can we induce our immune system to target, to attack the Achilles heel of the virus. Dr. Sudhir Paul, you remember some years ago in Europe we had a thing called the 
bovine something, I mean, commonly referred to as mad cow disease. Mm -hmm. And then we had the Asian swine flu, and then we had SARS mm -hmm. virus, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Why do these things keep emerging? What are we doing wrong as human beings? No, we are doing, look, we are remarkably